This is Dr. Philip Pratslavsky coming to you from the Advanced Foot and Ankle Center of San Diego. Today we're going to talk about cartilage replacement. The procedure we use is the cartiform graft. Here you can see a diseased first metatarsal phalangeal joint with total joint destruction on the big toe. Over here you can see a large spurring called a dorsal osteophyte, very limited range of motion, painful big toe, every step, sharp shooting pain while walking. Here in the surgery, we remove the extra portion of bone that's growing on the top called the spur. And you can notice carefully how there's no cartilage left in the joint. It's all been mushed up to the top. Uh, patients have had some little fracture portions of the joint as well. Um, what we'll do here is going to replace the cartilage of the joint instead of fusing the joint. Historically, they would fuse the joint or just remove part of the joint. And uh, those procedures, while they are effective, this can be an even more effective way um, of removing and the disease joint and replacing it with a cartilage graft even a joint replacement, while they're very good procedures, however, you have to remove a lot of bone in order to get those metallic joint replacements in there, and how long those joint replacements will last, and people's reactions to the, to the metal, along with metal loosening, can be a very significant issue. So what we do is replace the diseased cartilage with, cart with a implant called cartiform, which is a cryopreserved, I mean it's preserved in uh, frozen fr preservation. It's an osteochondral allograft, which has viable and alive chondrocytes with chondrogenic growth factors, as well as an extracellular matrix proteins. These are all things that help the patient regenerate their own new cartilage in the area. And there's a intact cartilage structure, and there's a small bony portion of cartiform that's pushed onto the graft that allows it to stick to this portion of bone that we have to expose once we clean off the the cartilage that is diseased. Um, the cartilage cartiform combines the safety and success of fresh osteochondral owl grafts with the ease in use because you can trim it and it's flexible to any type of size and lesion. Um, it's an active biological matrix that treats focal osteochondral defects and promotes articular cartilage repair. So here we see the cartilage being attached to the bone, and we have some small drill holes that we pass because we have to suture it down onto the bone until it takes. So we pass it through these drill holes that are coming from the top to the bottom of the bone. And this cartilage will then be attached to the bone. Sometimes we'll put on a small mini external fixator for a few weeks to hold it out to length so that the cartilage doesn't shift while it's getting, absor uh, getting taken in. The patients can walk on the surgical foot about three days afterwards. Uh, typically, I've had patients that have returned to skiing six weeks later, um, running at about eight weeks, uh, depending on how long the incision takes to heal. With, as with any surgery, there's no guarantees of outcomes. However, we burn a lot less bridges while doing this procedure because we're not implanting any metal, we're not fusing the bone. The patient gets to maintain their own motion. There's a concept that's called motion is life. If the patient has motion in that bone, and in the joint, so then the other joints don't have to make up for the loss of motion. So fusions are becoming much more rare today due to the fact that we have these alternative methods of maintaining the motion in the joint. And here we even have the patients um, being able to grow new cartilage. We will add to this also PRP injections, which is platelet-rich plasma um, that's spun down from the own patient's blood, get some of the patient's own um, cells in there, get some stem cells going to 
help that all take in, reduce scarring in the area. As you can see, this is what it looks like when we place the cartilage graft. We distract out that joint so that the cartilage is not going to shift at all. Um, there's comes in different sizes. Um, the, it has good survivability. I've uh, had patients over a year that shows that the cartilage has still maintained its form inside the joint by x-ray analysis. So here we can see how it looks in the final positioning. Patient has fresh cartilage back in the joint. This is what a fusion would look like of the joint. Sometimes it is still necessary. This is not this patient. This is just to show you what a fusion looks like. We want to stay away from these type of procedures. You can see here is a patient that had collapse of the joint prior to surgery. You can see the measurements of the amount of joint space that's prior to the surgery. And here we see after implantation of the cartiform, patient got back all their joint space. Patient was thrilled, back to running, back to all their activities. You could also see here, patient has gotten back 60 degrees range of motion from this surgery. Uh, most patients do very well with this and are very happy and have even come back to have their other foot done if they've had the same disease on the other foot. This is Dr. Ritzlowski coming to you with a message about cartiform cartilage replacement.